A parade of talent at the Champion Center made certain the Rise Hoops tip-off classic part of the Iowa March of Champions did not disappoint. I'm Corey McCartney, along with Dan McDonald and Carter Wilson, who are both just trying to catch their breath after the start to the travel season. Fellas, welcome back in, and congrats on a massive weekend. Uh, thanks, Corey. It was a fun weekend you, for sure. sure. Now, there were players uh, worth watching everywhere throughout this weekend, and I'm going to put you guys on the spot a little bit here. I want you two to zero in on those three players that made the biggest impressions on you. Carter, going to start with you first. Who were those players that you were most talking about? On Saturday, Isaiah Collier was the best player that I saw for TSF Mac 2023. I mean, just everything offensively that you can think of, he does. Um, and you usually you don't really get the perimeter shot as much, but on this one, he was rolling. Like, perimeter shot was going, and he gets everything else, like he, – that he that he's really known for. I mean, he's really quick off the bounce. He's really shifty. Um, passes the ball extremely well. Um, so when it's all put together, the five star thing is warranted, and then some. Like he's easily a top fifteen, top ten player in the country if it's if it's rolling. And he was the easily the best player that I saw uh, on Saturday. Uh, Sunday, I, I had a little bit of a sleeper. Um, and I watched the, the Wood Elite 16U group, and Elshermont Smith was really good, like really good. Uh, about six foot seven, he's long, he does a little bit of everything. I kind of dubbed him as like a Swiss Army knife type of guy, just whatever you need, he can do it. Um, and then at, right as I walk up, like, of course, he just throws down two massive dunks right in a row. Like, he, he gets a fast break, he dunks one, and then the next play, he gets a, an alley oop and he, he goes up and flushes it. So, I mean, he was he was really good. Um, and then the last one, uh, 16U Team Forest, uh, DK Manuel, Manuel was really amazing this weekend, the best I've seen him. I mean, he's always had those physical tools. I mean, he's a seven-footer. He's really long. Uh, but he, and his assertiveness and his, like, aggression, and he's, he, he knows he has those tools now. Like, he, he knows he has them, and he knows he's dangerous. Um, and that – was made all the difference for him. Like he, he was kind of that alpha dog, which we haven't really seen from him. Um, but if he has that, I think he's probably a top 150 player nationally, just with the physical tools. Um, and the thing that I really like about him too, is he just, he looks like he loves to play the game. Like he, he's having fun out there. He's laughing, he's smiling, he's having fun with the referees, his teammates, whatever it is. And, and that's really refreshing to watch. So I think that he was definitely one of the top performers of, of the weekend. Yeah, one of the scary things with DK Manuel, a seven-footer and that new age seven-footer that can go out and, and hit the jumper as well. Dan, what guys do you want to key in on? Yeah, so the biggest surprise to me this weekend and, and probably the best performance I saw was early on Saturday, and it was Damari Hill from Team Huncho. Now, he came off a great year with Berkmar that made it to the 7A state championship, and, and he was a big part of that. But I'd never seen him go for, uh, for 37 points before, especially against Game Elite, a really, really good team around here. And it was everything. He was getting the bucket. He had all sorts of crazy finishes. He was got the jump shot was rolling. I mean, it was everything. Nice passes. I mean, he literally carried them and kind of got away from them late, but he was really, really impressive. I know Georgia and Georgia Tech had contacted him since the weekend. So um, so he had a really good weekend. Um, for Team Dickerson, who was one of the best teams at the event, Noah Clowney was a um, revelation for me. I know we had Coach DeMond on one of the preview videos, and he kept on telling us how you know Noah had started to expand his game and you know, hit jump shots now, could put on the floor a little bit. And he was 100% right. I saw him hit a three, kind of had this, that little floater mid-range game going on and, and was just dominant around the bucket. So he was a ton of fun to watch all weekend. And they had a really, really good weekend as a program. Um, and then to finish off, I want to kind of go with a younger guy, Jaden Williams for the Atlantic Celtics loaded 1500 uh, team. Um, he had a great year at Hebron, but, man, his development just keeps on taking off. Like, he's hitting jump shots now. He's de defending the rim, blocking shots, rebounding, and um, – kind of just has really, really good hands and soft touch around the rim and gives you hope that eventually he can kind of make that progression that Carter just talked about with DK Manuel that, you know, he can hopefully – he's about 6'8 now. Hopefully he gets up to about 6'10, 6'11. And, I mean, he's a guy that can hopefully one day, you know, get more confident and more comfortable playing away from the basket. And, and the sky's the limit for him because he's, he's just – he's really, really impressive prospect and a super nice kid. Yeah, Williams, uh, just an athletic presence without question uh, in the paint for the Atlanta Celtics. If you missed any of the tip-off classic, get to Lake Point Live, powered by PlaySite, like lakepointsports.com. You can watch it all live or on demand. Also, be sure you're getting the full Rise Hoops experience. That's going to risehoops.com and following them on Instagram and Twitter. Carter, Dan, appreciate it as always. Yeah, thanks, Corey. Thanks, Corey.